Traveler's Di Diarrhea or Montezuma Revenge or Deli Belly, you know, whatever you call that. It's, it's pretty real, you know, people. And the way I look at it is not everyone gets affected by the same, you know, the same travel, even within the family, you know, why is it? And the big question should be, why is it that some people are more prone to it than others? And I right. think that comes from the, uh, the basic, um, you know, gut microbiome being not resilient to it. So if you have the right kind of bacteria, um, bacterial balance or microbial profile, they fight your battles for you. So I, 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 am, I believe more in terrain building rather than just fighting the bad guys. You know, it's one thing to say, okay, I'm just going to go after these. I mean, it's one thing if it's Giardia or something like that, that needs to be taken care of and then start building the terrain but sometimes it doesn't make sense just because a test is saying there are like two or three different bacteria or um, that need to be pathogenic bacteria to be handled we have to look at the microbial balance and that really comes from feeding them and and decreasing antibiotic usage spending more time outside exercising sleeping uh, really well optimal sleep all of these make a huge difference and it can't be a one prong approach to microbial diversity and a resilient microbiome.